Hello everyone. So yes, I'm down the house again, but I'm going to continue to update you as, yeah, it's showing that you're all um, enjoying seeing the progress of what we're doing here. Post floods in the home. And really this video is about just kind of thanking for everybody with the great comments, um, the kind of advice that everybody has been giving us over YouTube and our Telegram channel. It really is helping, it's encouraging us to keep going, obviously, because, um, yes, this is, I'm not moaning, but yeah, it's um, it can be difficult at times, because like I said, it's um, the second time we're doing this only in six months, but um, yeah, we decided uh, to restore the house, like all the great neighbors around us, you know, they're all doing the same as us, you know, so um, yeah, we, we couldn't just abandon our home. We need somewhere to live. And obviously we haven't got the money to just go and buy a new house. And you know, the main thing is we love this house. Um, we love the neighbors, it's a great area. Yes, it was unfortunate that what happened. Hopefully it won't happen again, but um, it's our home. We're gonna restore it. Yes, it's taking time. Um, what has it been two months now since I start the cleanup um, and getting it back to kind of um, this state it is in now. But you know, most importantly, Importantly, we're letting it dry out as best we can. Um, yeah, we're grateful we've got a rented accommodation to live in for the next month or so. So yeah, we're, we're just trying to get it as dry as possible before we um, start any work. But to be honest, I'm quite happy with um, how it's drying. Um, we've had some rather hot weather again, so obviously that is really helping um, with the humidity drying it out. Um, so what I've been doing again is windows are all open in the day when it's been, you know, plus 30 degrees, nice breeze coming through. I've had the underfloor heating on, so it's kind of um, drying if drying the floor if there's any kind of moisture um, still in the floor there. Dehumidifier um, just behind me there. That's been running um, in different rooms. I've been monitoring which room has been the most humid, so I've got that running. Through the night with them, um, obviously the windows closed them um, and then the aircon unit on um, on on the drying mode as well. But really, I kind of wanted to ask you, I'm just going to obviously flip the camera around like I do and just show you a few things. I just want to ask you a few questions, your advice, what you think um, we, we should we should be doing because um, any advice is welcome. And hopefully, you know, this video is helping other people as well if you're watching. Even the neighbors on, on this development, I know a lot, a lot of people are watching the channel. So hopefully it's helping with the comments, with just what we've been doing. Um, yeah, so that's kind of why I'm doing these videos is, is kind of the best thing I can do to help the community here and help hopefully others. If something ever happens, hopefully it doesn't happen to anybody else, but if, if anybody ever gets flooded or something like that, hopefully these videos can be used as like you know documented so it's kind of shown what um what we've done but one thing is that there's no smell in here at all so that is a really good sign there's no kind of even like damp smell there's definitely no mold so yeah it's just kind of a, a few questions i'll show you what's going on and um yeah drop any comments um you can um you know like subscribe share to this and i don't know if you want to follow us on telegram as well all the links are in the description um you can drop comments in there as well um i can kind of get back to those comments a lot quicker on telegram um because yeah i get quite a few comments coming through on youtube so um yeah i can't always get back to those comments but yeah thank you once again everyone i'll just quickly show you around and just ask a few questions and yeah let, let me know what you think Okay, thank you. So I'll just start in the kitchen living. So all the appliances are now back. Um, they're all working, they're all good to go. Um, they've all been fixed, tested properly. Um, so like the oven, microwave, extractor fan, that's all um, working and ready to go when we have the kitchen hopefully installed middle of August. Dishwasher, that's come back. Um, I've tested that that's actually working um, I think the pump or motor or something had to be repaired in that the last thing to be repaired is the fridge the um, compressor is actually gone um, 
So this part has got on the compressor and one of the circuit boards in here. So um, that's currently being, the parts are being ordered, that's gonna be fixed. And then hopefully the fridge should be working. It was the most expensive part to um, repair the fridge, but it's still cheaper than buying a brand new one again. Um, Cause yeah, they are quite expensive, but um, yeah, it's just slightly damaged there, but that's, we can live with that, you know, rather than um, pay a lot more money just for a fridge when we've got a lot more things um, we want to do. So kind of the questions are really, um, we're trying to weigh out what to do with the floor. I think the floor is dry and I've got like a um, humidity meter. It's down to about 45. Um, so, and then it, so it basically is drying. Um, it does feel dry to me. Um, the floor looks level. It doesn't look as though it's dropped anywhere. Um, this was how we had the floor when I laid the, um, quartz vinyl um, with the uh, with the underlay but what we're thinking of doing now is maybe going for a slightly cheaper option um, to get a floor down we might go for just like the stick on vinyl um, planks just it might be easier it might be cheaper to do that so because obviously you know we don't want this happening again next year but um, it's just yeah it's just what what, what would people do with the flooring, you know, it is still stuck down in the bathrooms. Do we rip that up and put the same flooring throughout again now? Um, obviously, we didn't rip that up because it was the only places it was glued down in the bathroom. So it's like, do we keep that? It is coming up slightly in places. Um, and you can just see like here, it has started to come up a little bit and a few other places. So it's either we rip all that up and put everything through the same, like, like I said, like a vinyl board that just glues down. And um, that's what we're thinking, because that's probably the cheapest option. Or, you know, if we've got the money, do we spend a little bit more and go for like a quartz vinyl, but properly glue it down again? So that's one question with the flooring. The other big question is, what do we do with the walls? Um, we are thinking to leave them the bare plaster um, because obviously we've got winter coming. We might want to see how the walls are once we've kind of moved in in the next month or so, and especially through um, through winter to see what's happening, if there's any kind of moisture still coming through, if that creates any mold anywhere. Um, but it's... It does, they, it does look dry. Um, yes, it's a bit kind of bumpy. You know, we were thinking, do we sand it down so it's kind of, um, you know, flat again? Or do we just completely leave the walls? Um, you know, not even prime them because we were thinking about priming them with like the PVA again, but possibly that might stop them from breathing. And obviously if we paint with like an acrylic paint, that will do the same as well. So it was, do we just get like some white paint, um, a water-based paint, if we can get hold of it, that will allow the walls to breathe, just so it might take like the dust off the walls or something like that. There is a little bit of dust. Um, you know, could we live with the walls like that? So that's mainly one of the questions. You know, what would you do with the walls? Because obviously then it's better to kind of paint the walls now. We're not sure if we want to plaster just yet to, to finish it all properly because again, we don't know if it's 100% dry. We don't know what's gonna happen kind of come winter yet. So yeah, just, just any thoughts around that. We, we can't get our head around what, what we should do with the walls really. Obviously that, that's to the water line there. You can see where the water went to. So that was like two, three coats of paint. It was an acrylic paint. Um, but it's quite difficult to scrape that off. You'd need a sander to get all, all of that off. So yeah, it's just thoughts. Um, let me know in the comments, that would be great. Um, so that, that's kind of those questions. And then just really, all we've got to do now is finish obviously where the doors were installed. You can see there's quite a lot of plaster. Um, so we've got to finish all of that, um, finish any areas where um, obviously we had to do a bit of drilling, so it's to finish the plaster all around there to get it level as it was. 
But as I'm touching all of this, there's no dampness. It doesn't feel damp anywhere. There's no smells, there's no mold. So I don't know, that's a good sign. Like I showed you last time we drilled into half a brick and none of these bricks, internal bricks, looks, looks as though they're holding any moisture now. So that again, that's that's a really good sign. Like I said, the only dampest corner of the house is this one where it gets the least sun. So I've had the dehumidifier in here overnight. Um, just hopefully trying to dry that side of the wall. It doesn't feel damp, but it's just where the insulation outside is still slightly damp in that corner of the house. So, yeah, it's really finishing it. I had to, to be able to move back in now. The other thing is are the windows. Obviously, we've had the glass replaced in, in the ones. Everything else is fine. So it's just, I don't know if you can see on the camera, where the water washed away. Um, so is it like we drill into all of this um, and remove as much as we can see what's going on behind there or have an expose, you know, around the door, it kind of looks okay. You know, are the windows going to be okay? And we just finish it with obviously plaster and reseal and the wind just here. So it's um, obviously quite a big job to drill every single window, but I'll just show you um, each window is very similar. You know I mean, drilling into here and um, seeing what's going on behind there. I don't think there's any moisture there, but it's just to reseal them properly. Do, you, do we need to drill in there or do we just plaster, you know, drill it slightly in places where it, where it did come away? Just reseal slightly and then replaster. So yeah, they're kind of the burning questions. I don't know if um, yeah, you could let me know what what your thoughts are in the comments. It would be really helpful. But apart from that, yeah, it's just still letting it dry, and um, yeah, hopefully getting some work started once we decide on the flooring and what we're going to do with the walls and the windows. Hope you like that little update. Um, like I said, just comment if you can, and I'll see you in the next video with the progress. Thank you.